The North American Arctic Maritime and Environmental Security Workshop was intended to bring together experts from the Alaska Native community, from the First Nations community of Northern Canada, the United States Coast Guard, Public Safety Canada, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, State of Alaska troopers, academics, and more to think through the approaches to, to not only assess but provide solutions that benefit the North American Arctic security picture. Things that are bringing together solutions that can actually be looked at, things that require new legislation, those things that require uh, new policy or policy adjustments, those things that require additional resources, and then those things that don't require any of that, just the idea for folks to get together and construct a collaborative way forward. What I was impressed by this workshop was people bringing together solutions that don't require 15 years of legislative action to help drive a small increment forward, but solutions that are actually implementable very near term, and that those solutions, if implemented, will be impactful for helping improve security in North American Arctic. So I was impressed by the actual solutions that are actually achievable in the near term. In the course of the workshop, it was encouraging to observe how well aware the workshop participants were of the challenges we're facing in the Arctic across the North American continent, and how openly they were willing to discuss the need to address these questions now. The key takeaways from the event are the notion of a continued need for events such as this Canada-US Security Workshop that brings stakeholders together to discuss the shared concerns and needs for action, but also allows the opportunity to seek and explore solutions collectively. Another takeaway is that the recognition that by working together and expanding our shared understanding of the challenges, resources, and opportunities for collaboration, a number of the key concerns could be addressed if we have the will to do so. I feel like this workshop provided a great opportunity for the ADAC fellows to gain some practical experience in planning and conducting a collaborative workshop. We helped with producing the materials for the workshop. We also helped with logistics uh, set up and the days of the workshop we acted as recorders uh, and we're involved with the consolidation and writing of the final report. The Arctic is a changing environment politically, ecologically as well as economically. Uh, and in a lot of ways, the Arctic is a bellwether for changes that are coming in the future. So in this way, it kind of puts the Arctic on the leading edge of a lot of really important issues. So it's an exciting place to work, and uh, there's a lot of opportunity that uh, comes with all that. People who come up to Alaska are always surprised at the vastness of just this state. And when students and just the general population figures out how big the Arctic is and how much of a challenge it's going to be, just to get there, um, that's, that's why it matters. The exploration is just the vehicle for the new technology we're going to develop. So whether you are an accountant or a business major or an engineer like me, the Arctic is going to present opportunities for entrepreneurship and developing new communication systems and finding new species of things we've never seen before. So the Arctic really should be on the forefront of everyone's mind. This workshop is one of ADAC's medium long-term environment workshops. It is the first one that was built from the ground up as a Canadian-US forum. This workshop springs from prior event I participated in the Whitehorse Yukon in June 2017. In that workshop, we, we looked at border security from a CAN-US vantage point. And through that workshop, we saw that this comprehensive approach in the North American Arctic from a Canadian-US vantage was important. So with this workshop and this document we've created, we now will be able to take a look about how to implement. So we have the idea of assessments. We have the ideas of proposals. What can be done that can help implement uh, and what sort of facilitation can this center and the group of planners from the workshop do to help realize the future of a more comprehensively secure Arctic for the North American continent?